Welcome back to Game of Thrones. This is the mighty high point. A ruin of a castle. I expected something more. Lord Roderick. Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? And... Arthur Glenmore. I don't recall you being invited. Yet here I am. Roderick, may I have a word? What were you thinking? Bringing those soldiers here is sure to set my father off. As if he needs more excuses. I thought you knew better. They're here for my protection. You didn't think I'd just trust your father. I thought you'd at least trust me. I heard what happened with Griff. You did? How you refused to submit to him. You're too strong-headed, Roderick. My father's convinced you mean to rebel. So if you value your life and your family, you'll listen to what he has to say. You need to take him seriously today. Which means keeping a level head and thinking before you jump to conclusions. I'm here in good faith, aren't I? That doesn't look like good faith to me. You have an impressive stronghold, Lady Gwyn. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once, and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. Are your soldiers expecting trouble? They're ready for anything. The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? M my lady? Give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. Are these your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Carl died of grayscale a few years ago. Ebbets at the Citadel. Torin serves Roose Bolton. And Griff, of course, wasn't born yet. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? He used to, when my mother was still alive. That must be you. A <laughs> much younger me, yes. You look a bit like your mother now. Is that your mother? Yes. Though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful, gullible, and quick to anger. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Come on, we mustn't keep my father waiting. A fray is a fray. As Wilder Frey would say. Say what you will about that son of a bitch. He does care about his family. Where's your father? Strange. I'll go find him. I don't like this. You need to find a way out of here. Ryan for Griff, that's still our plan. The plan means nothing if we're all dead. I'll look for an unguarded exit. If this goes badly, what do you want us to do?
Protect my people. Get them out alive. I'll defend them with my life. And if it does come to violence, move to the walls and get behind my men. What's Lord Whitehill planning? He said he wanted a truce. And I believed it. I hope I wasn't a fool. Just follow my lead and we'll be fine. Mother, look at this. This ironwood's cracked. I'm not surprised. The White Hills were never any good at the craft. Oi! Step away from that! Are you all right, Mother? I don't know what Lud's planning, but I'm not leaving here without Ryan. Not when we're so close. I won't just turn and abandon him. Just stay close to Arthur. If things do get bloody, he's your best chance of getting out alive. from the other side. Roderick! Welcome to High Point. Lord. <laughs> I hear you've been looking for an exit. You're not nervous, are you? Rob Stark went to a feast, and look what happened. I'm nothing like Walder Frey, though you did bring Glenmore soldiers under my roof. Father, please. Can we just get on with this? Well? Father once called High Point a keep for the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. He wouldn't stop talking about it. If you ask me, I'd say he was envious. High Point is very impressive. It is, compared to your pile of timber. Lord, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast. To family! Won't you toast with me, Roderick? As a symbol of our goodwill. To family. To, to family. family. Now, tell us why we're here. The Ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roos Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. So, in other words, you need our help. <laughs> Don't be so damn full of yourself. You foresters are headed for destruction. Yet, you know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Help me craft ironwood for the Boltons, and I'll make sure you foresters survive. That's absurd. If you think you can threaten I'm us... I'm not threatening. I'm offering. So you're proposing an alliance? An alliance? I said nothing of the sort. 
He'd make us his slaves. Roderick, this could save your house. I'd consider an alliance. You see what I have to put up with? Just give him time. I told you... I offer you peace, and you spit at it. I offer opportunity, and you demand more. I've seen this coming since you refused to kiss my ring. Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Either you agree to my terms, or I'll have Griff tear Ironrath to the ground. He'll put it to the torch! This isn't the way to Let get what you want! Let me slaughtering your small folk! Griff's no longer in charge of Ironrath. What are you talking about? He's locked in our darkest cellar along with your entire fucking garrison. You didn't. You've imprisoned my son. He was there by order of the Warden of the North! Now it's my turn to propose a deal. Your son Griff, for my brother Ryan. We want Ryan back, and we want him today. Bring the boy! Ryan! Mother! Frotry! I... I thought you'd forgotten about me. Uh, uh, no! Father, no! What are you doing? You've imprisoned my flesh and blood. Mine! Let him go! He's not going anywhere! Listen to her! Don't do I swear this. by the gods, if you will... Let him go, or I'll have Griff This killed. is not what we agreed. Blame him! Not me. If you want to see Griff alive You again. think I give two shits about Griff? About my fucking fourthborn? Power! I ought to kill you right now! Because you foresters never learn. I'm not afraid of you! Just say the word. Kill me, what? and we all die! Let, let, let go of me! Everyone, let go! Go on, then. Do it! What? You think I won't? I know you won't. Don't test him, Roderick. Because for all your bluster, all your posturing, you care about your son. Whitey. Still a white. You know what, Roderick? You're right. Uh. <coughs> Ryan, come here. No. We'll make the trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall, and the gods have mercy on us both when the Boltons come for their ironwood. Now go. It's been a pleasure, Lord. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Roderick. <laughs> There it is. Bloody hell, that was a tense moment. I will admit that I was fucking tempted to just end it right there and then. To just attack. They would all die. There's no doubt about that. Everyone would die. There's no way all those archers, all those crossbowmen could uh, be dealt with by the archers. And all the archers are pointing at the damned... Um, at at Lud. So, yeah. Anyway, Cosine here, signing out.